The desiccant drying system is most efficient if the air going through the dryer is below 150 degrees Fahrenheit. If the plastic pellets in the hopper must be heated well above this temperature, the air entering the desiccant chamber should be cooled so that it doesn't exceed 150 degrees Fahrenheit. To cool the air, an after cooler, also called a heat exchanger, can be used. The after cooler works like a radiator. Water is circulated through coolant passages. The hot air flows over these passages and the coolant removes heat from the air. Some desiccant drying systems may also be equipped with a volatile trap. Volatile traps are used when the plastic being dried gives off volatiles. These volatiles are picked up by the air and are not trapped by the regular filters. If they are allowed to get to the desiccant bed, they condense on the surface, clogging the pores. This shortens the lifespan of the desiccant bed. With use, the desiccant bed becomes saturated with moisture and needs to be regenerated. Regeneration uses a separate regeneration blower and heater. Room, or sometimes process air, is drawn in, heated from 500 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and blown through the desiccant bed. The high temperature drives off the moisture trapped in the desiccant. This regeneration air is vented out of the process. Once the moisture is driven off, the regenerated bed needs to be cooled before it can begin to absorb moisture again.